What's up everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, I'm feeling a little bit creative on this wet and windy night. So uh, I brought in one of these ash rings that I have left from my ash tree. And the plan is, weighs a ton, is to hollow it out and to put a shelf in it and an LED light all around. And uh, we might put a color changing LED light in there with little remote control so we can change the colors. Just to make a nice backdrop or wall piece and uh, it actually could look well inside someone's house too so it's just a little bit of creativity i have some of that spotted beach i've planked up some of it and uh, i might use that to make a live edge shelf just to sit in here so we've got to hollow this thing out now i have some ideas on how to hollow it out um, i think it's going to be a lot of drilling with an auger bit and a lot of chisel work and um, there might be a better way of doing it but we're just going to go at this and see. And if it turns out well, we might make a few more. So, without further ado, let's mark it out, start drilling, and just start the grunt work because it's going to be a hell of a lot of elbow grease. Uh, yeah, let's do it. It is raining a storm. We might get washed away. We almost got blown away in the last video, but we might get washed away in this one. Okay, so first thing I want to do is uh, we might let this be the back. I'll have to flatten both sides just so we can go against the wall and. Um, We'll find some way of mounting it, but this is kind of going to feel our way as we go. But uh, yeah, I want to mark a two inches in from the edge all the way around. Uh, leave a nice bit of meat on the outside, just so it doesn't split or crack. We want to go in then and leave a depth of a couple of inches on the back. So we might leave three inches deep, so we'll take it in back to about three inches. Maybe the width of a shelf. Something like that. That's how much we want to hollow out. And then we want to put an LED light. We need to hide our LED light on the inside and hide the electrics and put our shelf in. And uh, hopefully it'll be nice. So yeah, so first thing I'll do is scribe a line. Actually, I'll let that be the back because it's the flattest part. This will be the front. Oi. It is a heavy piece of wood. So I have this mat or the calipers just set to two inches and I'm gonna roughly scribe a line all the way around, following the edge. Now again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing we're doing with this has to be perfect. We don't want straight lines. This is all natural edge stuff. So we want to replicate nature, muck included. But uh, nothing, there's no straight lines in nature. Uh, there's no uniformity. Everything is random. If you get what I'm saying, it's a, uh, there's no straight lines. There's pattern everywhere. It's not uniform pattern in most cases, although it does occur in some cases where you get uniformity in nature, but for the most part, we're not looking at straight lines and perfect dovetails and all that kind of stuff. So, here we go. Oh, I can lift this up. So we've just scribed roughly two inches in all the way around. Now, we've got to start hollowing this out. So, this is gonna be fun. Right, we have the whole hog and I have the, what size bit is this? This is the 65 mil bit or two and nine sixteenths. So we're gonna start hollowing with this. We'll keep as close to our line as we can and start working this down into it and see how it goes. So let's see if this works. Ooh. This stuff is like iron. It was uh, pretty hard to turn when I was turning it on the lathe, so we might have to downsize the bit and go again. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is extremely dense wood and hard to drill, so um, I've had to reduce down to a 38 mil bit or an inch and a half, and that seems to be going down into it, so. That should do the job nicely. Now, <laughs> I've got about a thousand holes to drill, so hang on to your hats. OK, 
Okay, it is going to work, so we're drilling it out with the whole hog, but it is causing the batteries to overheat, and it has an overheating protection. Um, most of my batteries are flat, so I'm gonna leave them charged. It's getting late now. The weather's getting really bad, so I'm gonna call it here for tonight, and we get back at this thing tomorrow. It's gonna to take probably a full day, maybe a little bit more, to hollow this thing out, but uh, it's just a bit of elbow grease, and um, don't go too hard on the drill. Let the batteries cool down, and we'll keep going. There's probably a better way of doing this, but. If there is, I can't think of it right now, but uh, yeah, just persevere. Till tomorrow. Out of the way. It is late night on day three, I think, and I've almost lost my marbles. So I've drilled this thing out now to about here to it looks like Swiss cheese. I need to come up with a better way if I'm going to make another one of these for um, hollowing this thing out. But uh, yeah, it's hard work on the batteries. They're overheating. You keep having to change them, keep having to charge them. But this whole hog, it's one of the best tools I've bought in the last 10 years. It's an absolute beast. And uh, so this is where we're at now. So I've got to get all the in-between bits out now and then find a way of um, tidying up the edge and flattening the bottom. So that's the next thing. So I have a few ideas. I might get the multi-tool at this. And then I might get the grinder with some flapper discs and start uh, yeah, hollowing out some more material. But I even went at this with the chainsaw and the chainsaw wouldn't do it. So it's pretty hard stuff and um, this was the best way of doing it. So a lot of the material is out. It's a lot lighter now. It's still pretty heavy, but uh, it's, it's a bit lighter. So I'm going to find a way to do this. And once I find a way to do this, I'll get back to you. you know, I'm quite tired now. It's quite late. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Right, it is now day four, and come hell or high water, I'm getting this thing carved out today. Um, I hope it's worth the effort in the end, but I've got some new bits for the multi-tool, so I'm gonna start cutting this out. I also have the LED kit, little more control, so this is an RGB strip, so we can get all the different colors. So that should be nice inside it. I'll show you how to fit that and wire it up later on. But uh, for now, before I lose my marbles, I wanna get this thing cut out, so. I showed you already, this is where we're at. So I'm gonna take the multi-tool and clean all this out. Um, chop down the sides with the chisel. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanna get the bottom part flat as possible. Get the sides kind of, take all these, uh, the circles out of it. And again, a, a natural edge look we're going for. So it doesn't have to be um, perfect, if you know what I mean. So let's rock on with this now. I might switch this to a time lapse and I'm just gonna start hacking and we'll see where we end up. Let's do it. guys we finally have this thing hollowed out and uh, that was a laborious task to say the least i would definitely look to find a better way of doing this if i ever try to make something like this again because that was just a ridiculous amount of labor and man hours and uh, yeah but the flapper disc on the grinder really removed a lot of material quickly and got the sides and the bottom um roughly to where i want them again i'm not looking for smooth or flat I kind of want to keep that waviness in it just to keep it kind of a natural look. But that's it, hollowed out now. So we're going to make a shelf in it. Maybe I'll make it a piece of this spotted beach and uh, we'll see. We'll get that in a minute. But the next thing I want to do is fit the LED. I just have an LED kit here. This is an RGB kit. So it comes with a remote so you can just change all the various colors. I'll give you a close up of this when we're installing it. So we need to get this. There's our power lead and our driver is here. So that connects to that, we put a plug on that and we can plug it in. There's various uh, different clips and attachments here for it that we can screw it in all the way around. So we need to put a recess. I'm gonna come in about a third of the way and put a recess all the way around this now and clip this into it. This is rubberized, 
so none of the LEDs are exposed so this is good for indoors and outdoors it's sticky back but we might use a bit of hot glue as well because um, the tape it's, it's, it's eventually going to lose or give up the adhesion and just f fall out so it's always handy to put in a bit of hot glue on top of it just to get, keep it stuck in there and uh, we'll take it out then through the bottom I'm going to leave this little indentation on the top that'll be the top that's going to denote, denote the top of it so that'll be our top and this will be our bottom and we'll keep the it's kind of longer that way than it is that way so we'll keep this horizontal if that makes sense it's only a case to just tuck this guy in around the edge and just gives our effect and get our shelf in so it's not much more to do it's just going to be a case i think i'm going to use the oscillating saw just to run a cut all the way around and then another cut and then we'll try and take it out with the chisel that's the approach i'm going to use so let's get on and do that okay so just freehanded my line in here the width that i need to take out i'm just going to run the oscillating saw all the way around just to cut that line top and bottom and i should be able to chisel that out then anyway that's the plan so again it's just slow and steady this thing's gonna make a bit of noise now i'll get on with this than sawdust how bad okay this is where we're at i've channeled that all the way around so i just used the chisel to take it all out then i took the grinder again ran that around just to clean it out get it deep enough so again it's a uh, it's not even or, or straight or anything like that it's not supposed to be it's all uh you know it's roughed out it's meant to look kind of rough that's the idea we're going for so we don't have to be too careful with that either so i'm gonna i've drilled a hole through the bottom of it now just in here that's, that's going to be my entry point for the power part of my led strip i'll show you when i'm installing that and uh, i've just cut a little shelf a little square shelf so the only thing that's going to be square and true in this is the little shelf that's going to sit right about there and i'm going to fix that through the back quite simple it's going to be just two screws it's going to be nice and handy you won't see them they'll come through the back and uh, that will hold the shelf in place like that and the led strip will go down on the inside now we can leave something stand here in the middle anything that we want to display or light up the different colors we can leave sit there that's the idea so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get on i'm going to sand this i'm not going to go to a really high grit just maybe take it to 100 or 80 grit give it a quick sand with the orbital sander sand this edge just to get it look at it a little bit better um, if i can it's fairly marked up there was it's a diseased ash tree so you can see the black coming through that's what actually killed off this tree but it might make a good pattern and then i'm going to hit it with a bit of boiled linseed oil all the way around so i get on and do that now i'm kind of conscious that this video might be getting a bit long and there's not much to this it's just a lot of grunt work and um, there's not really anything too technical to explain i'll show you when we're sticking the led lights in that's very simple as well mounting the shelf i get all that done and we get back when it's time to mount the led so i get on and we'll see you when that's ready okay this is where we're at i have it all boiled linseed up now even the bark on the outside just to help preserve it a bit we've our i've drilled a hole through to take through our power lead for our led strip so that's just going to let be let hanging outside um i have the little shelf mounted up so this is this spalted beach shelf and i i like the contrast with the white and the orange and you can see this pattern that's in the tree this is the disease this is the ash dieback disease that's killing ash trees all across the northern hemisphere unfortunately my big ash tree got it and um, you can see how it, it rots the tree from the inside out so that was the whole way up through the tree even out through the the boughs on the tree and that's eventually what brought the tree down in the storm so you can see the pattern but it's actually a nice pattern in the wood there now and i decided to leave the little holes from the tip of the auger bit just to give a kind of a little pattern again because you know it looks interesting i think and it's all experimentation anyway so yeah if i was to do this in a house or if i was going to make this for something that was going to go on the wall you would get a nicer um ring to make it out of a slightly nicer log you would hide this a bit more this is going to be up high on the wall so you won't see the hole coming through but you would do a little bit better to hide that this is what the unit itself comes with um so you have your driver that's your power supply here's your control box that's your receiver for your remote control and uh that's 
that will, that's the part that you're plugged that hooks onto the end of your LED strip. So it's all very simple. And you'll see on the LED strip itself the areas where you can cut it. So you just measure it to length and then make sure and cut it at the cut point that's marked with the scissors. So it's nice and simple. It's also backed with 3M tape. Now this stuff is pretty sticky. So long as you get a good, clean um, surface to, to uh, stick it to, it will stick and adhere. So a nice, smooth, clean surface it will stick to. The likes of this, it won't, it'll stick and then it will give up and it'll just flop out. So I'm gonna stick it with some um, hot glue just to help it around. So I'll measure this around now. I'll start sticking it in place. I get some blobs of hot glue in there just to keep it. It does come with little rubber uh, clips that you put two screws in either side, but I'm not, you'll, you'll see them if I put them in, so I don't want to to put them in, so I'm just gonna use the hot glue and the adhesive. Yeah, that's basically it. Then we can stick, all you need is to stick a plug on the end of this guy. We can plug it in and we can test it. So yeah, I'll get on with this now and I'll get back to you when it's done. Right, we're almost all the way around. There's our entrance point there. And uh, I'll have to get a bit more hot glue on it, maybe a couple of clips in it, because it's not really taken, but we'll get a few clips into it and we'll see how it goes. But this is what I wanted to show you. You see these copper points here, marked with the scissors mark. That's where you make your cut. If you cut back here, you'll break the circuit. The LED strip won't work. So always make sure that you cut it on the point itself and that's where it can be joined. You can get joiners, you can cut this, you can put joiners in between, spacers. Um, it can be linked. So you can link, as long as your driver is big enough, you can link a good few meters of this stuff, up to 25 meters, I believe, depending on the driver. But uh, yeah, make sure that's where you cut it. So it's nice and simple. Try and do this without hitting the camera. Right on the line and just snip it right there. That's it, job done. Right guys, there we go. A cool project for you all completed. Just something to give you a little bit of inspiration and uh, woodworking doesn't always have to be straight lines, perfect dovetails, perfect 90 degree cuts and perfect edges. Sometimes it can just be something made out of nature that looks like nature and you can do something cool with it. So the next time you're going to see this now, it's going to be up there on the wall. Uh, Storm Dennis has just arrived, that's why it's now lashing with rain, so it's a good time to finish up this video. But I'm going to keep some cool stuff in the center of this, so keep an eye out. Maybe an upcoming competition will be what's in the log, you never know. But uh, yeah, I'll change what's in here from time to time and you guys can spot it and we might keep it interesting. But it's gonna sit up there now as part of my backdrop. So yeah, just a little cool idea. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it inspires you to go out and just make something, create something, give it a bash. And uh, yeah, so that's it guys. It is definitely time for a beer. This has been a long process and uh, it's turned out well, so I'm pretty happy with it. So thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're not already, and I shall see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.